All right, what a way to announce that I'm getting old and out of touch, but like the clickbait title says, I've been in the streaming industry for over 10 years, so I wanted to share some tips for you from that time. All right, so streaming is deceptively simple. You don't need a super pro setup to start. You don't need a fancy microphone or a good face cam. You just need to start and give people a reason to tune in because it won't be just because you have RGB lights going on in the background. So if it's with your cell phone, a gaming console, potato PC, whatever it is, just start, see if you like it. Make sure you enjoy yourself. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up with an extremely expensive video conferencing setup, which might not be a bad thing. So the first part of your streaming career is likely to be a lonely one, unless you already have an established audience. The first few streams are probably gonna be friends and family, then they're gonna disappear. And you might have a lot of streams where you're just talking to no one. So you need to learn how to stream into the void, how to talk and entertain yourself and have fun because those lurkers that drop by from here and there, they don't wanna see someone just quiet, slouch down. They wanna see someone having fun and giving them a reason to stick around. So practice with that, practice talking about hot topics, you know, reacting to videos, whatever you can to make things fun for yourself so that someone will wanna stick around when they drop by. We've also created some videos about how you can market your stream, which you can click above to check out, but there's gonna be a long period where there's just no one around and you have to learn how to kind of deal with that. All right, so this is mostly 30 year old me talking to 20 year old me, but make sure to stand up from time to time. Like if you're streaming and you're sitting down for a while, set a timer, use your smartwatch, Whatever you can, you wanna get up and move around because you don't want to have massive back pains and problems from sitting down and streaming too much. So get up, move around. All right, so thanks to good old YouTube here and of course the hyper consumerist society that we have, there's always a new streaming product coming out and there's always the latest and greatest, you need to buy it right now. But the truth is, aside from the PC components, the rate of innovation in streaming products is actually pretty slow like this is broadcast equipment there's been equipment that's been around for decades now that is still the standard so there's probably been five or six sure sm7b's that have come out or knockoffs of the sure sm7b's that have come out in the last few months but i'm pretty sure you're still going to want to get the sure sm7b like microphones and cameras they're all going to kind of stay the same especially the lenses so make sure to take some time, do some research. You don't need to buy the latest and greatest. And the truth is you wanna buy things that have kind of been around for a while because that means they have durability, they're built to last. Because I think people don't realize how much wear and tear it actually takes with streaming, especially if you're streaming from home, you're using it every day for hours on end. So you want something that's built to last, not something that just has flashy lights or a feature that you might use once or twice. All right, so one last thing, which depending on the time this video comes out might be really important is taxes. So as a streamer, no streamers are really employed by the platforms they stream to. They're all independent contractors. And most of this is really just relevant to the US, but you know, make sure to keep track of your expenses and your income and use whatever tax accounting software or talk to an accountant and make sure that you're doing your taxes properly with streaming because you need to know what you can write off, equipment that you buy, you know, how to categorize your income. You don't want Uncle Sam coming after you a few years later, especially once you start getting successful with streaming. But that's all the tips I have today for streamers. If you have any tips or any advice you'd like to give people, leave them in the comments. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'd be happy to answer. Thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe if this video is helpful and see you next time.